Apple is releasing its first headset, the Vision Pro. By now, I'm sure you've probably watched one of the thousands of videos that came out since the announcement, talking about the specs and all of its functionalities. But as a VR developer, I'm going to share with you something completely different. Because after the keynote, Apple has also shared more information in its developer session on what we can expect making games on this headset. So let me sum up everything for you and let's have a look at how you can build your own Reality Pro game. Okay, so during the keynote, it was announced that Apple was partnering with Unity. Now, Unity is one if not the most popular game engine out there, already used to make games for most VR headsets like the MetaQuest or the MetaQuest Pro. Now, I can tell you how happy I was about this news because not only this means that today, we already have a great tool to build to the Vision headset. But most of all, if you made a game for another headset, like the MetaQuest for example, you can port it easily to the Apple Vision. Now, this YouTube channel is also dedicated to VR development in Unity, and this means that you can learn everything that you need and subscribe down below, of course, to be prepared for the day the Apple Vision will come. Now, the Vision Pro allows you to create augmented reality environment using the path-through and to completely immerse your player in VR and those all that using its reality kit system. And so, to handle this complex graphical setup, Unity has worked on a tool called PolySpecial, which will basically turn a material from Unity and make it work on the Vision Pro. And here is what's possible to do with it. First, the rendering pipeline. Standard pipeline and URP are supported, but not the HDRP and not a custom pipeline. Now, a render pipeline is basically a setting that you choose when creating a new Unity project to give you a set of visual control to work from. Unity used to only have the standard pipeline, but has recently added the URP to target more optimized graphics and the HDRP to target high definition rendering, so for the best visual. Now, from the dev talk, it is clear to me that it is strongly recommended to use the URP. Then this leaves us with the shader that we can use. Now, a shader is basically a code that tells how an object looks like using texture, lighting, normals, and so on. And using PolySpecial, Unity has made sure that the basic lit and unlit shader works on the Vision Pro, but that's not it. We also have UI shader, particle shader, and the occlusion shader, which are really useful for the path-through. But what about custom shader? So if you want to create your own visual effect, custom written shader will not work, unfortunately. But to make up for this, here is the good news. Shader graph will. That's right. Now, shader graph is a tool to create custom shader by connecting some node. And thanks to the poly special, it is working as well on the Vision Pro. So, two thumbs up. To make a game for the Apple Vision, make sure to use URP and stick to the base lit and unlit shader or make one with the shader graph. This will make sure that your game can run smoothly, but also benefits from most advanced optimization techniques used in VR, like Fovitet rendering or single pass instance, and that you can simply build your game with one click on the build settings. Okay, so what do we know about the Vision Pro interaction? We have hand tracking, which allows us to physically touch objects like poking a button. We can point with a ray to a certain direction. We recognize certain gestures like a pinch. And then we even get gaze tracking, which will let the app know what we are looking at. Finally, we have scene understanding for some augmented reality interaction. Now, if you've been following this channel, none of these things should be new to you because they are already present in the Unity XR toolkit of Unity. That's right. For example, in the previous video, we covered the new hand tracking support by Unity using their XR hands that can handle all kind of interaction and that you can already use with the Quest 2, for example. Now, for the eye tracking, Unity has also surprisingly released a gaze interactor that's already working well with the Quest Pro eye tracking. All together, it looks like Unity can already handle all Vision Pro feature pretty well, with even more things like UI interaction, grabbing objects. But what's maybe missing is some specific features like eyesight, which we don't know if we can customize from an app or not. 
and this leaves us with the scene understring. Now, augmented reality has been there for a long, long time, and Unity has already made their own SDK called AR Foundation to group the AR Kit from Apple and the AR Core from Google and make things a bit easier for us, which has plane detection, image, body, face tracking, and more. And this means that the same will happen for the Apple Vision. So to sum up, if we use Unity XR Toolkit with AR Foundation, which are already there in the game engine, we will be able to handle all of the interaction of the Vision Pro. And the best thing, you don't have to wait for the Vision to be there to do it. Now, from the developer session, I have another amazing news to share with you. There is Unity Editor Preview. That's right, it means that you can test your game directly in the Unity Editor and edit your game while you play. Now, this is such a time saver and will mean that we don't have to build our game to the asset every time that we want to test a single thing. Okay, so at this point, we have heard some great news about how Unity can already handle the Vision Pro to make a game. And even more, I know that if you are watching this video, you have probably made up your mind to get the headset or not, but it does not matter if you are going to use it because what matter is that this Unity and Apple collaboration is giving us a glimpse at how the VR development ecosystem will evolve. And all I can say is that I'm very pleased about it. Now, if you want to make a Vision Pro game when it is released, how should you prepare? First, you need to register to Poly Special Beta. Then, make sure to upgrade your Unity to 2022 with URP and to learn to use Shadowgraph. Finally, Unity will make sure to easily port a VR game to the Vision. So, what you can do is already build your own VR game using the Unity XR Interaction Toolkit. And lucky for you, I have already made a complete tutorial series to teach you how to do so. Then, for the scene understanding of the Vision Pro with AR Kit, the good news is that this is already available through your phone and that you can start today to build some AR application with even plane detection using the AR Foundation. Now, if you even want to go even further, I will leave in the description some of the other Apple Dev Session, which I think can help you. And you can, of course, subscribe with the bell down below to make sure to not miss the future tutorial or even get access to the exclusive content and the source code of my tutorial by joining our awesome community on Patreon. The link is also down below in the description. Thank you for watching and check out that epic outro. Bye bye.